Are you trying to make a louder master, but pushing the limiter just makes it sound like this? This sounds terrible because loudness is complicated. It's more than just slamming the threshold on the master bus. Hey guys, Joey here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you a few ways to get the loudest possible mix. Back in the day, there was a ton of competition to make the loudest mix. This was the result of digital music mediums. Once CDs came out, songs could be pushed to a way louder level. This got even more intense online with new platforms like MySpace. Every band's song needed to be louder than their last song. And as an engineer, if you could squeeze an extra dB or two out of the master, then the client would be happy. So when I started working with bands that would upload their songs online, I had to find a way to make louder songs than my competitors. I learned one thing pretty quickly. Loudness comes from the mix not the master. If you're trying to get the loudest possible songs, you need to treat each track, bus, and master with that in mind. There's a lot to cover, so let's get right into it. A limiter is often the last processor on a song. It works by setting a threshold and adding an equal amount of makeup gain. Every time the audio reaches the threshold, it gets turned down until it's equal to the threshold value. So for instance, if the threshold is negative 6 dB, nothing can exceed negative 6 dB. It just gets turned down. Once that happens, 6 dB is added to the signal. On a master, this reduces dynamic range and makes the whole song louder. The problem is that it can only be pushed so far. At some point, the song is just being turned down, and there's a few easy steps to avoid this. Balance the tracks. So much of a mix relies on getting the right balance. If the snare is too loud, the limiter will react too much on every hit. Your EQ moves give each instrument its own space in the mix. Being deliberate about which frequency range each channel takes up is a huge part of that battle. If you want a more detailed look at balance, check out this video covering the topic in depth. Now that the balance is set and the frequencies are cleaned up, let's dive into the loudness. Getting the loudest mix starts with the loudest tracks. If you've seen my video on balance, you'll know that I like to use dynamic processors to do my gain staging. This has an added benefit. When the volume of each track is consistent, it's easier to make them louder. Check it out. Since each source is controlled, they're hitting the buses equally and always the loudest they can be. Buses are the next step to a loud mix. Even though each track within the bus is controlled, they're not always playing at once. This difference in parts can cause the total volume to differ between the sections. This is especially annoying with rhythm guitars. Sometimes a chorus sounds way more full when extra guitars are added, and the problem is that every time a guitar is added, the total guitar volume is increasing. This can overpower the drums and cause the master bus processing to overreact to the guitar, and the solution is to use dynamic processors like limiters, clippers, or compressors on the guitar bus. This reigns in the volume when multiple parts play at once. As I play this next example, listen to how the guitars get thicker without masking other mix elements. Drum shells are notorious for overworking the master limiter. The snare usually needs a lot of volume to cut through. Listen to how pokey this snare gets once it reaches a certain volume. Now look at how hard this drives the limiter. 
The solution is to control the transients on the drum bus. There's a ton of different ways to set this up, but here's my favorite. I'll use a series of clippers on the snare mic, snare bus, and a drum shell bus. This controls the snare in stages and makes it huge without sounding unnatural. Awesome. The instruments and their buses are controlled and we're already hitting a good level on the master bus. It's time to apply the limiter and export, right? Wrong. There are a few things that you can do on the master bus to make the limiter even more transparent. Use a multiband compressor or clipper to even out the transient peaks that are still causing issues. Next, let's apply some saturation. I'm gonna use the sauce settings in JST Maximizer to achieve this. I'm like the inflator for this mix. While we're here, let's check out the EQ spectrum. The low end is eating up a little too much headroom. Let's dial that back a bit and start pushing the limiter. Awesome, this mix is absolutely crushing. So let's review. We used dynamic processors to make each track more consistent within itself. We then used a combination of clipping, limiting, and compression on the buses so each instrument group had controlled levels. And finally, we used compression, saturation, and limiting to evenly push the whole mix to a higher loudness. Remember these tips when you just can't get the final limiter to sound right. If you want to use these tools on your own mixes, head on over to joeysturgistones.com and download your free trial today. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to check the links in the description below and tap that bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos. Until next time, happy mixing.